hi everyone in today's video on ship stability you will understand how to meet any maximum draft requirements which means that if a vessel has to maintain a draft then how do they do that if any kind of weight operations have taken off so here a small container ship has a salt water draft of 8.68 meters a displacement of 16777 tons and tpc of 26.2 tons the ship is to berth in a port where the maximum draft is 8.5 meters so you can't go beyond 8.5 meters that is the maximum one and where the water density is 1.010 tons per metric cube how much ballast must be pumped out prior to ship's arrival so before you go ahead and start solving this question try to draw this question and understand what's going on here so there is a ship right it needs to go into the berth where the water density is 1.010 so here the water density is 1.010 tons per metric cube now you don't know what the density is here currently so when the question doesn't tell you what the density is you kind of assume it's 1.025 ton per metric cube because the other hint uh, here is that it is at its salt water draft the salt water uh, density is of course 1.025 ton per metric cube and uh, it is currently at a draft of 8.68 meters right so you are going in here the displacement of the ship is 16777 tons displacement is denoted by a triangle and the tpc is 26.2 tons right now here the maximum draft that the vessel can be at maximum draft can be 8.5 meters but you are already at slightly higher draft which is you are already at 8.68 meters now as you go from density 1.025 to density 1.010 what is happening density is decreasing right so what happens to the draft draft will increase because it is less salty so 1.025 is more seawater so it goes into 1.010 which is less seawater so that means draft will increase which means sinkage will take place sinkage will take place vessel will sink further so vessel is already sinkage will take place right so vessel is already at 8.68 meters and you have to make sure it doesn't cross 8.5 and now it's going to sink further when it goes from 1.025 to 1.010 now this is what you have to calculate how much will the sinkage take place now uh, the relationship between sea water and dock water is given by of course dock water allowance this will tell you how much will the vessel sink by so already the vessel is overloaded by 0.18 meter what does that mean that means that uh, you are at a draft of 8.68 meters right and the maximum draft that is allowed is 8.50 that means you are already overloaded by 0.18 meters and then you are going to sink further by the dock water allowance so you need to pump out the weight accordingly to not only compensate for the over sinkage already that is happening but also the sinkage that will happen due to a change in the density now dock water allowance is equal to nothing but fresh water allowance multiplied by difference in the densities which is 1.025 minus the dock water density so here the dock water density is nothing but 1.010 divided by 0 0.025 which is a constant now i don't know what my freshwater allowance here is so freshwater allowance can be calculated by the formula displacement divided by 4 times tpc now when you use 4 you get your answer in millimeters if you use 40 tpc you get your answer in centimeters it's up to you so displacement is given to you 1677 divided by 4 times your tpc is given as 26.2 and that will give you a freshwater allowance of 160.09 now this is millimeters right now you put this uh, freshwater allowance in the dock water allowance formula so 160.09 multiplied by 1.025 minus 1.010 which is the dock water so this is the seawater density minus dock water density divided by the constant of 0 0.025 which gives you the answer 96 millimeter now 96 millimeter is also equal to 96 divided by 1000 which is equal to 0 0.096 meter now this dock water allowance is the amount by which the vessel will sink purely due to change in density right so you are currently your draft is 8.680 meters is your current draft right the maximum that is allowed 
is of course 8.5 but your vessel is going to sink further by 0 0.096 which makes it it is going to sink so i will add the draft will increase at it departs so 8.776 if no cargo operations take place if no weight is removed then this will be the draft when it reaches the other port now if it reaches the other port at 8.776 that's not good enough because my maximum draft allowed 8.5 is the maximum draft allowed now if no weight is removed this is the draft draft on arrival vote of 1.010 ton per metric cube so that means i have to um, remember the vessel is overloaded by how much it is overloaded by 8.776 minus 8.50 which is 0 0.276 this is the amount by which the vessel is overloaded by call it overloaded overloaded right so that means this is 0 0.276 meters now 0 0.0276 meters also equals uh, 27.6 centimeters so you have to convert this into centimeters by multiplying by 100 because this is the amount by which you have to rise the vessel so this is the um, uh, this is the depth or maybe draft by which the vessel must rise right which vessel needs to be risen vessel needs to be risen means you have to uh, you have to lighten the vessel so that the vessel rises by this much amount of draft right so 27.6 centimeters now your tpc tons per centimeter immersion tons per centimeter of immersion is equal to 26.2 that means 26.2 that means that for every centimeter by which the vessel must ride uh, must rise or sink the weight to be removed or added is 26.2 tons so if i need to rise the vessel rise required this is the rise required is 27.6 centimeters now because tpc refers to centimeters that's why i have to convert this into centimeters i cannot keep it in meters so rise required is 27.6 centimeters so weight to be weight of ballast to be discharged because i need to make sure my vessel rises by 27.6 centimeters so every centimeter is 26.2 ton so for 27.6 centimeters i will multiply it by 26.2 ton which is 723.12 tons so if i discharge this amount of ballast from my ship my vessel will rise by 27.6 centimeters which then helps me to meet the draft restriction so that means i will discharge of this ballast from here itself all right i will discharge it from here itself the vessel will rise and then when it changes in density even if it sinks it still doesn't overload or it doesn't cross the minimum or maximum draft of 8.5 so i will make sure that when the vessel goes from 1.025 to 1.010 there's a change in the density vessel sinks i still do not cross my maximum draft requirement because i have already taken care of it by discharging a ballast of 723.12 ton so I hope this video was useful guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and I will see you soon with my next video.